There's no truer expression of love than a fancy wedding. Or at least that's what I and my peers have convinced you for financial reasons that will soon become clear if they aren't already. I'm sorry, are we paying for this time? Shh. Long ago, marriage was strategic. A way to legally bind two families or to increase one family's land holdings. Today, very few issues can be settled by robbing your children of their right to choose a lover. However, people like me still wanted to make money, so we built an industry around the idea that you should legally bind yourself to the person with whom you most enjoy having sex. Or failing that, with whom you're most comfortable. Or failing that, anyone you want for basically any reason, including immigration or tax concerns, provided it's not a family member. You don't have to, of course, but it would be weird and kind of pathetic if you don't. Your parents agree with us. And anyway, can you really put a price on love? Yes. Love costs, on average, $31,500. Holy fucking shit! Yeah, uh, same question. I told you we shouldn't have given a kosher option. Ah, uh, save it for the vows. Is this a wedding or an informative short? We honestly don't know. Congratulations, you've met the love of your life. What better way to celebrate than by spending several paychecks on a party for so many friends, family members, and people you don't know, but who your parents insisted you invite that you never speak with any of them for longer than 15 seconds. Society has agreed that it would be awkward if those in love didn't host a cripplingly expensive event at which your friends and family get to watch you kiss and have a chance to object if they want, preferably after the meal. In exchange, newlyweds receive money and or presents from a pre-approved list of things you'll need to own to begin your life as dual consumers. It's your little way of saying, buy those bowls we want, friend from college. In reality, your marriage is an open-air market facilitating the barter of appliances for booze and a meal. But make no mistake, no one's making money here. Except, of course, those of us in the legal binding of people with vaguely religious undertones industry. Example, you're gonna want music at your reception or everyone will be mad. And even though an iPod plugged into a speaker would be fine, we've convinced you that you need to spend over a thousand dollars for a stranger to plug in his iPod instead. This is human DJ Chaz. He doesn't have a degree in anything and he'll play that song that orders the listeners to get louder, then softer, then louder again, and so on and so forth in that fashion. If you fail to retain his services, yours will be a cursed union. These are pleasant smelling remains of murdered plant life. They cost $2,000 and are garbage two hours after you say, I do. I'd also like to remind everyone that common wisdom states an engagement ring should cost roughly two months salary. <laughs> and let's not forget about your maid of honor and best man. We don't profit much on that one, outside of charging them an outrageous amount to rent an outfit worn by dozens of people before. Really, we just thought forcing you into picking your favorite friend would be a funny way to add stress to your wedding day. You literally have to decide which of your friends is best. Then make them write a speech. Even though this is only my fourth time talking in front of a group, I'm gonna tell a wildly inappropriate story about the group. It's intensely private, but society has obligated me to reveal it on what is arguably the most important day of his life, in front of people who really aren't gonna find it charming. But don't worry, everyone. I'm drunk! Add in a choreographed dance, thank you notes, and vows, and you'll soon see your wedding as that expensive party that requires homework. And don't forget, everyone knows you're going to have sex afterwards. They're all fine with it, there's no problem. I'm just pointing out that when anyone smiles at you at your wedding, they're thinking they're going to fuck later. Your grandma knows. She's lived a long, full life. You think she doesn't know what happens on your wedding night? And therefore has probably at least briefly imagined the two of you fucking? Newsflash, she has. Respect the elderly. 
I'm Roger Horton, and with the power vested in me by the internet, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Fuck you, pay me. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Oh, and if you have any of your own wedding horror stories, please share them below. We love them. I'll read every single word. I'm Roger. <laughs>